In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a saloon banner like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using just in case you want to download and practice. Also, you can go to my website and you can find all the resources plus the fonts that I'll be using over there as well. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'll be doing this in Photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version that you are dealing with. And I'll be creating this banner in feet so you can do your conversions. I already made a video on how to do the conversions first off let's start by creating a project so you can do that by pressing ctrl n or going to file and going to new and creating a new document like i said i'll be doing this in feet but you realize from here that photoshop doesn't have feet over here so any one of the measurements that you choose you are just going to convert it to feet inches works very fine for me because I know that every 12 inches equals to one feet so if i want to do let's say five by six i'll just multiply five by 12 and then six by 12 and then i'll have the equivalent in inches that i want to use so in this case i use 67.2 by 76.8 now this is going to be very different for you depending on the one that or the size that you are using and because in feet and in inches are going to be very big we don't have to make the resolution that's very high because it is going to increase the size so we can decrease this to the resolution to about 150 once you have this you can go ahead and click on create now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this very simple minimal but the colors has to be vibrant okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a rectangle to it so you go to the shapes over here and then you right click and then you can select your rectangle now you're going to create the rectangle to the very size or the very part that you want in this case i want it to be around this side and then i'm going to leave it right over there you don't have to worry about the color because you're going to add a gradient to it to add a gradient you right click on the rectangle that you created and then you go to blending options now we're going to select gradient and then you're going to choose the gradient that you use in this case i've already set my gradient so this is the gradient that i'll be using and in case you want to use the same colors this is the first hex code and this is going to be the second hex code so once you're done with this you're going to click ok and then ok from here now over here we're going to uncheck the reverse so that the other color will come to the left and the reddish part go to the right side and once you're done with this you're going to click ok now from this point depending on how you want to go you can either bring in your images or you do your test first let's do the images so for the images we go to file and then place embedded and i've already done or i've already taken the background of this image i also included the one with the background in case you want to do or practice it yourself but just to save us time already taking off the background of this image so i'm going to bring in my main image this is going to be the very big image so there's a picture of jackie apia i'm just going to place her nicely around this area so i'll push her to the left side a little bit i already covered how to take out backgrounds different ways to do that in my previous video so in case you are clueless you might want to check that out all right so we position her nicely over here she can go a little bit more like that because we are doing hair saloon flyer we want the hair to show them more now we can then go ahead and add the rest of the images so that once we're done we will just quickly add the test and we will be good to go to add the rest of the images we are going to create another rectangle so we are going to select a rectangle over here and then we can create a very nice rectangle small like that over here we are going to double click on the layer thumbnail over here to change the color to white and then we are going to set that opacity to 10 percent so we are going to decrease it very low and hit enter now let's make a duplicate of this rectangle ctrl j to do that we are going to transform it slightly into the rectangle that we made so something like this should be fine and then you can hit on enter for this rectangle we are going to set it to full 100 percent 
and this should be fine so we are going to transform it to make it very small like this we need four of these okay so we are going to make one more duplicate so control j to duplicate that and then you can bring it over here now you can use your arrow keys as well to push it make sure that you have that small line in there and then you can hold control and select the other rectangle you can zoom in at this point to make sure that you are getting everything right you can press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that and then you just take your time to position it you make sure that it is in the middle so somewhere around here it's going to be okay and then you are going to make a duplicate of the two remember we've selected the two by holding ctrl so you can press ctrl j and drag this down as well you just also have to make sure that you have that line over there so that this looks very proportional so something like this and from here i can select the four rectangles so i select the first one here hold shift and then i can select this one and make sure that i've positioned them nicely or i make sure that they are centered once i have this i can then go back to select the rectangles that we created now these are standing into squares we can select them one after the other and insert our images so to insert the image you select the, the rectangle that you want to insert it in and then you go to file place embedded and then you can choose your image i got you a lot of these images so you can try with different ones and let me know how it comes out so the images that worked for me the first one is this particular image over here and i got this image also from google so this is purely for educational purpose so please don't copyright me once you open it up like this you are going to right click and then you can go to create clipping mask so that it is going to fill right inside the rectangle that we placed it in now to make sure that you don't have this long name you can just double click on the name over here select it all and then you can give it just any four names so that it doesn't take up the whole of your tabs so we are going to do the same thing for this second rectangle you go to file place embedded and then you can choose your second image for this one i'm going to go for this particular image over here and then i'm going to bring it on top and then i'll transform it open it white like that and then i'll hit on enter now i'll right click on the layer and i'm going to create clipping mask so that it fits right inside of the rectangle that we created so i'm going to do the same thing for the next two images and rectangles all right so we've nicely inserted all our images into the rectangle so you can then go ahead and hold shift and group all of these rectangles so that it can be one in case you want to transform it you can press ctrl t to transform the whole of it so you can press ctrl t to transform it like that and you can as well bring it down a little bit like this one thing you can also do, do is you can create a reflection of all of these images so you make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j right click and then you can convert this to a smart object now after that you can press ctrl t again right click and then you can flip this vertical so it's just going to be flipped vertical and then you can bring it down over here slightly like that and then you can turn the opacity to about 20 percent or even 10 percent and even add a layer mask to it choose your brush tool and then you can brush off the areas that you don't want so let's say just brush off these areas so that there will be a bit of reflection over there now i can go back to my rectangle and open it up a bit because i need to push this one down slightly so i think here we we'll do here is fine that means that i can go and select my rectangles and my images and push them down slightly like that so that it's going to create space over here for me to insert the test now the test is going to be simple so let's quickly add the test the first font that we are going to use is right over here lovera personal i'll leave links to download that also in the description so you left click and i've already typed the test so you're going to paste your test over there the name of the salon is let your real be done so i'm just going to open it up like that 
you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered horizontally so you can press ctrl d to deselect that and push it up a little bit like that just make sure that you have space over there so the next one is the hair saloon for that we are also going for a rectangle over here and then we'll create a very small rectangle something like this it should be fine my mouse is really messing up all right so <laughs> i told you guys the mouse is messing up so let's double click on the layer thumbnail over here and we are going to give it a quite yellowish type of color yellow golden yellow or anyhow you want to call it okay so you click ok and we don't want to leave it like that plain 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 rectangle okay so what we can do is we can go to filter we go to blur and then we go to motion blur and then it is going to ask us to convert to smart object or rasterize it we can rasterize it of course and this is going to create a motion blur for you so this is how it works the more the distance the more motion it creates okay so let's open the motion over here like that and we can go a little bit forward like that and then you can click ok so on top of that we are going to type in the hair saloon so we are not going to use the same font let's just type the hair saloon first and then we can centerize it and change the font to any font that you want to use i'll go for our favorite poppins so poppins bold and i'll just click ok press ctrl t and then i can transform it you can leave the color white because white looks good over here so you can leave it white or better still if you want to go with exactly how i did it you can just select all the text over here i think this is based out so let's first set the canning to 40 percent and hit enter and then you can change the color to this particular color over here so that it really matches and blends after that you can click ok and check done over here the next set of tests is going to be the services so we select our font again and using the same color we are going to go for poppins bold again and then we are going to type our services now you can select all of that click on your toggle character to open this character and paragraph panel and then you can underline it over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it to be a little bit bigger and then you can start listing your services this looks a little bit dark so let's change it to a bit brighter like that and you can click ok so we go for our test tool again we make a left click and this time around we don't need the underline this is something that you need to pay attention to because it can really frustrate you when you use underline for a particular test the next time you are using it make sure you turn it off else it is going to actually affect it for instance if i change this one to let's say medium and i don't uncheck the underline and i just quickly paste my services over here you realize that it comes with the underline so i need to select all of it and go and uncheck the underline that's it and then i'm going to set this one to left aligned and then i will take my time and position it right over here so the services too can come here slightly like that i need to position it over here and finally we need to add a contact to this but you can also open this up a little bit this is 125 so we can change this one to about 130 so that it spaces out a little 140 this looks okay so we are going to add the contact details or any other if you have social media as well you can add it but this person had only contact so we are going to add the contact to it so we are going to create another rectangle you pick your rectangle and then you can create a rectangle of about this size now we don't want it on top of our image so we have to drag it underneath the image so you drag it underneath your image so that it goes under it and then we can add this rectangle the effect on this rectangle onto this rectangle four don't get confused what i'm trying to say is that you can right click go to copy layer style and then go to the rectangle that you just created which is this small one right click again and then paste layer style or alternatively you can just hold alt and drag this fx onto the new rectangle and then it is going to copy the effect onto it 
so in this case we're going to make use of only the whatsapp and then the phone line and i'm going to add my number to it just in case you need someone to create something like this for you or perhaps you need more information so we go to file place embedded and then we have the whatsapp logo and the call icon over there so you add your call icon i got this from png wing so i'm going to resize it like that and then i'll position it on top of this rectangle so you can zoom in you hit z and then you can left click to zoom in so that you would be able to position it very well so you press ctrl t you take your time transform it and then you are going to position it let's say over here you right click on this layer and then we go to blending options and we are going to change the color so you go to color overlay and then you can add a color to this and you click ok we are going to do the same thing for the whatsapp icon so place embedded and then you can select your whatsapp icon this is also from png wing you transform it nicely like that you can bring it right on top of this one so that you make sure that they are almost the same size if they are not the same and then you can push it to the right side a little bit like that hold alt and drag your fx on the call icon onto that of the whatsapp icon and it is going to copy the effect onto it you can push this up a little bit like that and now you can select your test tool and you are going to add your number so i'm going to select the the whole of that test and then i'm going to click on the color palette and i'll change the color to white and i'll click ok and ok you can press ctrl t to even make the number a little big because it is very important it is the one that is going to project your business as well and yes just like that you create a very nice simple this is a very minimal design but you know the colors are very popping and very catching this looks very attractive when you are done and you want to try out other color options you can just come right on top of your rectangles over here so these are the two rectangles with the colors so on top of that you can add a hue and saturation to it so you go to the create new fill adjustment over here and then you can add hue and saturation and then you can play around with the colors like so so you can go something like this i think this color looks beautiful but you can as well go to the other side like that to play with the colors and see which one looks better for you this also isn't bad at all because it matches with the image over here and it can go this way as well but this is the color that stood out for me this color right over here this one looked very beautiful for me and you can turn it off to check your main color turn it on and then you can see the color that you created and yes that's how you create a very simple minimal saloon flyer you can use it for beauty and makeup you can also use this for bridal and nails anything that is related to beauty and especially ladies thing you can use this to create you can use this also for flyers and other things just in case you decide to practice this and you want to show it to me you can reach out on instagram or on twitter and don't forget that links to download everything that i used in this video will be in the description i'll be getting value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye